Thank you for watching Ben Television. My name is Shegun Johnson, and I'm glad you're watching. The program is You Decide. We've been watching the tellies in the last seven days, 14 days. We've seen xenophobia in South Africa like we've never seen before. Therefore, we will be discussing xenophobia today. But before we do that, we have uh, one illustrious son of Nigeria who has been serving in his own capacity, is well known all over Europe. Indeed, he has lived all over Europe. It's my pleasure to welcome into the studio, onto the set, Otoba Bode Oseni. Uh, he clocks uh, 70 years old in another 12 hours. Uh, Otumba Bode Oseni is well known to many of us here in the United Kingdom. Otumba, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Dr. Johnson, for having me, and uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, how does it feel to be 70? Well, to be 70 uh, can only be said to be a thing of God that's ordained. So God has hands in it. Mm. Mm. Uh, because we are all born with such an uncertainty. Wow. The only uncertainty, the only certainty is death. Wow. So, uh, b b before we go on that, uh, it, it was just like, uh, you don't look 70. Many people say you don't look 70. You are very, very intellectual. You are very assertive. You participate in many things. But before we go into all the different backgrounds that made Otumba Bodiusini, where were you born? We now know you were born 70 years ago. Where were you born? How did you grow up? Can we meet the real Bodiusini? Thank you very much, Dr. Johnson. Again, I... I Where it, were you born? I, I, was born in, I was born in Ottawa, oh, Ogun okay. State. Ogun State, now. Yeah, because I claim that uh, that was where I was born. Yeah. My father is from uh, Awori Land, uh, Igbesa, and my mother from Abekuta. Okay. So we all are more or less like... Um, uh, they met each other, well, 18 something, whatever. <laughs> now, um, who is Otumba? Again, I'm one, one Nigerian that uh, grew to uh, want to defend. I grew to find out that my, my father, uh, he was a, a hunter, he was a farmer, and uh, I, I found out that he's so diligent, he's so caring, he's so supportive of his neighbors. He also such a person that I remember when we go to farm. So you learned from your father. father. But uh, did, where did you go to primary school? My primary school was in Ottawa. And that, I, that one is also a kind of accidental education. Oh, there is... <laughs> yes, as, as I education. know of accidental public servants. Yes. Now I'm hearing yes, of yes. accidental, accidental education. Accidental, what do you mean uh, accidental yeah, because, education? Uh, f because of what happened then, my father, because of the kind of a person he was, or my parents, let me put them together. Mm. They said that I have to go and live with the with my uh, with their uh, 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 son-in-law, okay. and that is in Ekpe. Mm. So that's what made me to go to Ekpe. Okay. So I finished my primary school there. In, in How about the, secondary school? Secondary school. So partly there, and also come back to Lagos to finish my uh, uh, primary and uh, I mean sorry, secondary. What school in Lagos? Uh, school in Lagos was Amadea. Oh, okay. Yes, and also I did. I went to do my A level at Oli Cathedral Primary School near CMS. Oh, okay. You know, so that's where I did my, uh, well, we call it HSC then. We call it HSC yeah, then. Or A level or whatever. So, but oh, oh. then it was, my one was A level. Okay. Mm. And uh, university education? Well, I did not go to university in Nigeria. So I immediately, when I finished, I got a job with BWA, BWA. We call okay. it the Standard Bank. Okay, Bank of West Africa. Yeah, yes. That now, mm. now, that was the same time when uh, John Major was working the bank. Oh, okay. So, Why are you calling yeah. John Major? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so that was the time when most of these uh, expatriates were working the bank. And, uh, and uh, I got to know them because I was working in a department uh, called Telex Department, okay. where the communication uh, are coded. I, I'm the one that decode them and so on and so forth. So I'm... Um, Having worked for five years, I've learned a lot. I see them. I see life. See how loving, caring, you know, they are. And I say, oh, I love this kind of life. So um, then uh, one thing 
is how do I further my education uh, abroad? Mm -hmm. So I started contributing uh, uh, with other 10 people. Okay. And with that money, I was able to pay for my ticket and okay. pay for some uh, BTA, which I took along with me. And I'm always, always uh, very... Many people will not know the meaning of BTA. Yeah, 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 yeah. BTA. That is basic trans, uh, traveling, traveling allowance. You know? yeah. well, it used to be 800 pounds. Yes, it? very. 600 and something pounds. Yeah, which okay. is a lot of money. Well, lot because of money the, the rate then was just one to yeah, one. Fact, to, one, to one uh, something it? less than... We give less naira to, uh, to get one pound. Yeah, which our correct. was very, was, was very, very strong. Yeah, yeah strong. You know? yeah. So um, it, it was for me... Uh, a journey of unknown. I traveled to Germany in 1970, and when I got there, and I've always wanted to uh, do politics in a way, even though I was working in the bank. Mm -hmm. So I now decided to study political science for me to to find out what and how best to serve my people or the people or the country where I come from, and also to find out historically the the the. People like uh, the, the thinking of Aristoteles, people, mm. the history of politics, yeah, you understand yeah, me? Yeah. How did they do it? And how can I apply that to support the voiceless, the uh, unrepresented, the... Uh, so uh, it has been a major it, part it, it of has been, it, it has been something that I, I, I wanted to actualize but, but here. did you study law as well? Well, that's also a very interesting one. Um, accidental uh, as well. Uh, uh, in, yeah, I won't I say this because I won't say accidental. Because what happened is um, I came back after my master's in uh, Duisburg in Germany and um, I have brought my family. Then we have two sons, my wife. We, we came here and uh, there was something went wrong. And now, but prior to that, I was working in the city as a... Uh, 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 insurance consultant, I'm a consultant, executive one, I managed to get to the top. It was that in London? In here? London, here. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I left that company, then two things happened to me. Uh, one time, I've gone to uh, Arrows. On my way back, I stand by by a taxi frank, uh, rank. I wanted to know, because I've always wanted to do black cabin or whatever. And I asked, and the black man said to me, oh, it's going to take you two years to get uh, Hackney. You understand me? And I said, oh, that's, I left that. So that is first one. Mm -hmm. Then the second one was a friend who came to me and said, uh, the ongoing thing now, business-wise, is a scratch card, calling card. That was okay, when it yeah. was first established. Yeah, well, I remember yeah. calling card. So um, and for some reasons, I wasn't too comfortable with it. And I said, well, okay, leave it. Now, this is where the law business come in. Then I say, I've already missed two boats. Mm. The third one was when I sat myself down and I said, what am I going to do with my life and when I get older than this? Mm. And then the idea of, you know what, you might go back to university again. You can go to school many times as possible. And I say, what am I going to study that will uh, stand in good stead, that will make me feel to be, to be self-employed and so on and so forth? And the law came in. And I look again, I say, and I was just um, 49. And I say, oh, three years course? Ah, <laughs> and I, speak, I just speak. Oh, well, that's not difficult. To exactly, ask. You, and I quickly say, oh, but they, you miss the first boat, second boat. Don't miss this one. Three years will come. You are going to be fifty-two. 52. You are going to be sixty-two. You are going to be seven, and so on and so. On. So, so that's when. So that's how you I, it. At forty-nine, I went I to study. I think the younger ones would like to listen to that. Mm. Now, let me just give you a chance. You may call in to wish uh, uh, Otumba Olabo day uh, happy seventieth birthday, and if you want to ask him any questions. The number will be on your screen, and you can also email us, and I'm ready to read your email, nigeriansdecide at yahoo.com. Now, uh, Otumba, you, uh, the little I know, you have seven children. Seven is a perfect number, isn't it? It is. Four boys, uh, three girls. Yes. And, and, uh, and are we still expecting more? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have retired, I can tell you. No, that. you don't have to retire. <laughs> I, I, I have stopped producing, even though I'm still in progress in life. Now, that, that is also a very good um, uh, uh, observation because you, you have to give thanks to your creation. Mm -hmm. it, it's all it's all his mercies, massive blessing. You know, because, because when you look at others, we're not trying to be, you know, when you look at others who are your age group, they are yet to have a child. Mm -hmm. it, it pains me, you understand me? 
And that's why I've also done different kind of things. I've donated, I've helped people. I don't even so know. You've been committed into yes. charity. So all that kind of thing. Okay. So I have uh, four boys. Um, my firstborn is, I mean, is uh, Ola Bodio is junior. Junior, He's going yeah. to be 43 yeah, end of uh, uh, May. And the second one is going to be 40 uh, wow, in April. 43. Yes. So you are not... Uh, yeah. Even though I started late. So you need you need to be given some respect mm. there, isn't it? Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I, I know I'm going to fast you forward. Uh, let's talk about your political convictions. Uh, at what point did you start thinking politics? Because I know that you grew in Baba's house. I'm talking of Baba or Bafemi Awolo. Uh, uh, did that tell us how did you get to his house and did that shapen your your political conviction? Mm. I must say I'm not from Ikene, but a friend of mine who is uh, a senior brother to uh, the first wife of uh, his uh, Baba Obafemi Awolowo's third uh, child, that's late Wole Awolowo. Yeah, you know, and that we're talking around uh, 63, 64. When yeah, uh, I, I, we'll take it off from there, don't forget, uh, because we have a caller on Remy Martins. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning, good morning. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Manchester, from Manchester. Yes, go on, Remy. Um, Alleghi, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, well, salam alaikum, yeah. Uh, my wish for you is that uh, you will never give up. Um, at the end of uh, the, the rope, and then you will uh, have strength Amen. You know, to fulfill all your desires, inshallah. Amen. Thank you very much, Remy, from Manchester. Yes, you all others can call in. Please feel free to call in if you want to, or you want to email or read your congratulatory mm. message to uh, Alaji Bode Hosseini. Ah, I'm not here tonight. Yeah, not an Alaji. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, because I had a salam alaikum. Uh, well, you were yes, you said Ikene. You were talking about Ikene. Yes. I said, I'm not from Ike, but then again, uh, gradually I got involved with uh, Walea, late Walia Wulowo. Um, if you are to be alive, he's going to be four or five years older than me. So that was how the relation started. And of course, I was then introduced to Papa, mm. Obafemi Awolowo, and to Mama. And ever since, uh, I've been accepted and adopted as one of them. Okay. And I have access to uh, uh, all both of the. Of the blessed memory now. Yeah. Uh, even up to the children, children. I knew, and I knew that you were going to visit uh, Chief Wale Awolo while he was on his uh, sick bed here. And, and it really affected you at that time. Yes. And actually, I can confirm openly mm. before the whole world that uh, he dies in my hands. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, because I, I was you going, to always visit, going there. Visit, to hi visit yeah. him every day. Uh, and um, uh, you visited Mama HID yes, too, and, also, uh, and uh, especially in the days of election when I, everybody was taking. Do you remember that day when everybody, those days when uh, people were going to Mama HID to take picture and then following day you see it all over newspaper and you did your own too? The, the difference between is that I live in the house with her. You know, <laughs> we're not gonna, okay, so, let, let's go political. How did that affect your political convictions later in life? Staying with Baba. Now, when, when you look back at the achievements, mm. the vision. Of uh, Papa Obafemi Awolowo, all what he achieved, all what he did for the then Western region, mm. uh, that he he made sure that uh, there is education for everybody, the uh, good uh, uh, roads, the houses, schemes, mm. the uh, different kind of pro program and project mm. that he 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 afforded this, uh, the 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 people of uh, Western region. Then, I my dream was to see if I get on in life to emulate. Mm. And also, was the, the prayer was also included that I hope he'll be given a chance to get to Federal and replicate most of his uh, visions, most of what he has done, which today, th the legacies are there. Yeah. And yeah. also remember that uh, I have a friend who was uh, writing his thesis in uh, one of the universities in America, and he asked me and said, uh, I need uh, my thesis is going to be based uh, African leaders, uh, in particular Nigeria, uh, their legacies. And I said, very simple, write the names of all the, the 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 political leaders in Nigeria. Write their name one by one, mm. and start writing the achievements. Yeah. 
and, and he came back to tell me that nobody can beat, nobody beat Obafemi Awolo. And that is the truth. Wow. You understand me? Because all you need to do, write their names and write what they did mm. and what they've done. You understand me? So, for me, I, I have always wanted to uh, 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 believe that if Awolo had lived and uh, elected as the, mm. as the president of Nigeria, probably uh, it would have been different for us. And also, I also learned from, from him that uh, there's certain things you cannot force yourself to do. And you also, if you, if you choose to be, to be yourself, yeah. you get more. Because Aolo, as far as I'm concerned, he was himself. He did not copy. He, the only area you can think he copied is where he read, he read so many books, mm -hmm. uh, wrote so many books. And that is one area that I believe you need to be yourself. So you are an Aoist now? I will die Aoist. Wow. Because of the belief of what I learned from him, uh, I saw him did, mm. that I have not been able to fault. And, the only, uh, and I believe that uh, most of these things are doable. They are not things that cannot be done. And I have always insisted, insisted on, on, on our program, you decide that, um, why are we making life difficult for ordinary people? We have the resources. Okay. When I look at what is going on in IDPS mm -hmm. and compare the same IDPS in Jordan, yeah. anybody can Google that. When you see the amount of resources uh, 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 put together in, in the IDPS in Jordan, yeah. how uh, prudent, judiciously, seriously, and humanly yeah. uh, uh, all these resources are put together that people are in displaced uh, uh, camp mm -hmm. are living like they are in the city. They go to primary school, they go to secondary school, they even go again about to start university in the ID camp. Mm -hmm. So eventually that's going to be their own country again. Otoba, so, yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask you some hard questions now. We've listened from, from, from you and uh, there will be some hard questions. Right I hope now. it's not going to be a fake news. <laughs> 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 because otherwise I will override. <laughs> go on. I'm going to ask you hard questions. Many people say that uh, you are a member of APC. Do you want to declare that openly you are a card carry member of APC? <laughs> uh, well, that's not a fake news. I can tell you that uh, I am not. I am not, and I repeat, uh, that I'm not a, a, a card carrier of APC in any form or shape. I was one time uh, a card carrier of UPN, and that's what I was talking about. The, you know, UPN the, is gone. Know, it's gone. So that was only one time. Of, that was only one time. People believe that men, most of your messages, especially on you, decide mm. they are slanted in favor, in favor of, of uh, APC. Wow. And, 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 well, that, 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 might, that might be so. People are really entitled to their own opinions. Yeah. The people can choose to yeah. uh, call you what they want or paint you how they like. I mean, but, people but, listen to you during the Jonathan administration, and you are always shouting and insisting on the rule of law in Nigeria, rule of law. But when the Buhari administration came under APC, you never shouted rule of law anymore. Even when Buhari refused to release Kanu, uh, Kanu, that the iPod man, who the courts have asked to be released, uh, you did not shout rule of law. Why? Oh, Daniel, I, want to, I, I want to do you this favor, Dr. Johnson. Yeah, do I, it, yeah, yes. I, I want more of this interview to be based on my uh, life uh, and everything. But if you, I'm, I'm going to answer this one. You but have please, to, you have yeah, to. yeah. Because and, I'll, and, and I'll tell you. You see, also as a student of political science, that uh, I find it difficult to uh, uh, to to analyze most of what I study, and uh, or, or the people who study medicine and some other area of uh, uh, studies yeah. that that they are unable to put it into practice, into use mm. in, in 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 our country because of the uh, uh, funny structure because of the warped way of how do we do business. Yes. I will link it the, the, with the question you asked me. So, uh, for me, uh, I think uh, the type of democracy, the type of, the, the, the type of rule of law I've agitated and called for uh, can, be, can be modified. More so, when you see that this person is, more, is going to be dangerous, is it because... So, 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 so Ludo... Pat Utomi and other major Igbo people that met yesterday asking for the release of uh, 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 Kanu, they are just they were wasting their time as far as you are concerned. Because the question I'm going to ask my professor, uh, both of them are professors. Mm. I'm going to ask them say, what during your time, mm. during when you are in power, yeah. when you are really really in power, when you can you can make or, sh or, or, or break 
uh, governance in Nigeria. Mm. What are your contributions? You did not do anything. I'm going to like, listen. No, 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 listen. no. We're talking about the release of. Yeah, no, no, of no, no. Family. I will link it. I will link it. You see, because Yoruba people say, if you want to talk about somebody mm. who is not properly dressed, you need to look at him. Now we can connect this. You are a political professor, and I mean political science professor, and I can say to your face, sir, that here we have a situation mm. that here we have denied people. Uh, 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 good governance in our country and we now have a situation where uh, uh, somebody is now agitating openly openly I should have thought that they should have advised Kanu and say you know what there's a fantastic elegant uh, uh, civilized way of wanting to break away so from this country they, but the courts the courts the courts have said it should be released those now, ones are now, they superimpose over everybody now we now see we now see the court yeah. the judges who are now saying really aren't most of them corrupt aren't most of them are, you see the truth of the matter is you need as a, as a legal person mm. you want to look at the case you want to look at the evidence mm. before you make a judgment okay. it is clear that somebody is uh, uh, calling for secession openly mm. that kind of person is okay. supposed to be arrested all right let me, and let, so let, let me read you some congratulatory messages thank because you we are likely to come back to that <laughs> uh, let me read you this is from edupoko augustine uh happy birthday uh, wishing Otumba a happy birthday celebration. God bless you. Um, we have from uh, Francis uh, Akitaro. It says, uh, it says, congratulations and happy birthday to Baba Oseni. I wish you many more years with abundance of blessings. Lai Akintaro from Sydenham. Uh, I guess you know who they are. Uh, this is from Timmy or Laliko. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. I wish Otumba Bode Oseni a happy 78th birthday. Uh, uh, well, that's in uh, Yoruba language. He's a very good commentator and political analyst. I wish you long life and prosperity, good health and comfort. Uh, congratulations. Uh, we have from Azan Agbedion. Happy birthday, sir. I appreciate your wisdom and patriotic concern about Nigeria. Many a times when some of your colleagues in you decide, speak as if Nigeria should split, you are always on the side of unity. Mm -hmm. Many more years, sir. You are a father to many young Nigerians in this country. You may not know that many of us will always wait to hear your contributions on you decide. You look very famous on you decide. Thank we you have very a much. Caller there. I thought I saw someone calling right now. Uh, le le let me take a caller. Uh, it's Otumba Bode's Otseni's uh, 78th birthday. Uh, that's seven decades. Uh, it's not easy to be. Uh, we have uh, a lady, Be Beatrice. Yes, good morning, Beatrice. Hello, good morning, doctor. Yes, ma'am. Well done. Thank you very much. I really much. love your program. Thank you, ma'am. I'm calling from Exeter. Wow. Go ahead from Exeter. Baba Otumba. Permit me, let me speak my language. Okay. About my Ekarosa. Ekaroma. And the Kori Re Nio. Eshima. Kori Re Na Ba Ekale O. Amio. 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 Yes, uh, for mm. those of you who needed translation, we will ask the uh, management of Ben Television <laughs> to, to, to go and hire someone uh, to translate mm. that one. In the meantime, uh, please feel free to email your congratulatory messages to uh, uh, Nigerians Decide at yahoo.com and I'll be in a position to read it out. And, uh, of course, this number is on your screen. We want to congratulate Otumba for all his contribution to the stability of Nigeria, for the upkeep of Nigeria in various ways that he has been uh, involved. Uh, very soon we'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be asking Otumba the specific things he has managed to do, what he has managed not to get to do, does he have any regrets in life at all after spending 70 years? In Nigeria, 70 is the time they get to be president. Would he like to be president? Or he doesn't want to compete with uh, Ashwaju uh, uh, Atinubu, who may like to be your next president. But we have a caller. Mr. Abdul, good morning. Hello, Abdul. 
Hello, good morning, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from London. Oh, here yeah, from London. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Otumba Oteni, good morning, sir. Happy birthday, long life and prosperity. Nothing much to say today. When we see you in the party on Sunday, we will talk better. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mr. Abdul from London. On that note, we'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be hearing the specifics from uh, Otumba Olabode Oseni, his regrets, if any, in life. Don't go away. We'll be right here with you. It's time to own your own properties at any of these cities. Abeokuta, Isheri, Opek, Abuja, Sam Nujoma, and Orozo. Lagos, Leki, Potakot, CAF Gardens. Key rights with major developers and state agencies can make your dream come true. Property and flats start from just £25,000. We can also provide you with property exchange. For more information, please visit www.keyright.co.uk. The Commonwealth Day service is one of the most recognised events in the Commonwealth calendar, which prominently has in attendance Her Majesty the Queen, other members of the royal family and heads of the government from across the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth Africa Summit, which holds alongside the Commonwealth Day service, is fast becoming one of the most recognised events that promotes the interests of Africans in the Commonwealth. From a series of high-level meetings on topical issues, workshops and business networking events, the summit promotes inter-commonwealth collaboration for sustainable development and inclusive growth in a new era of globalisation. We invite you to join us at the Commonwealth Africa Summit from the 13th to the 15th of March 2017 in the historic city of London. Visit www.com events.org forward slash CAS 2017 for more information or to register. Oni of Ife Global Outrage presents an evening with Imperial Majesty Oni Adeye and Nito Ogusi Ojaja II. His Imperial Majesty on an official royal dinner gala, cultural celebration, and Ojaja II heritage. I will be coming to the United Kingdom to meet with various stakeholders in Yoruba land and to further promote Yoruba heritage. Venue, Aurora Ballroom Intercontinental Hotel, O2 London, Southeast 10. For tickets and booking, please call plus 44 744 816 4465 plus 44 75 7837 3799. And this is an official gala dinner for His Imperial Majesty. KBSC will be in the UK from the 12th to the 25th March 2017. Powered by Rotimi Oshobemekun and Egbe Omoife United Kingdom. Be there. Across three continents, seven countries, the most revolutionary filmmaking and acting reality TV project the African film industry has ever experienced. Thousands of aspiring filmmakers and actors engaged. 60 finalists selected through regional auditions. 12 star actors and trailblazing filmmakers as mentors. One academy for eight weeks, capacity building, mentorship, 20 short films on social justice in competition, one signature feature film. Register online at www.s2safrica.com. Entries open February 1 to March 31, 2017. For sponsorship and inquiries, call 0816-170-4676. Script to Screen, Africa 2017. Film as a catalyst for revolution. Stay in tune. This is Ben Television. My name is Shagun Johnson. 
uh, and the program is You Decide. We've been looking at the life of Otumba Bode Oseni in the last 70 years. He's an illustrious son of Nigeria. He has served his community in different organizations, charity organizations. He has worked in different places. He has worked for the Nigerian government. And uh, now he is uh, doing what he loved most. But we want to ask him those specific places he had worked. Otumba, Thank you for still staying with us. What are these uh, specific places you have worked in, both in Nigeria and here, so that we may see you, you may be a kind of icon for the younger generation? Well, like I said, I, when, when, when I uh, finished my primary, uh, secondary, I registered to do my A-level uh, uh, evening. And while I was doing my evening uh, classes to uh, get uh, uh, a level subject i was working with uh, bank for west africa that was uh, 1965 uh, bank for west africa is now first bank and um, i was combining mm -hmm. that and uh, but then the, the the fourth year of my working with the bank i uh, started coming up with the idea of i want to travel you know that was more or less the thing then you know and uh, but then again, it, it was a struggle because uh, when you look at uh, the amount of money you earn by the time you pay this and pay that and all that kind of things, you know. So from there, uh, I, I, when I traveled to Germany, mm. I started, I must say, I started working as a, a, a packer uh, in the printing press um, okay. uh, uh, workshop. And the, it was there also I learned how to or print my, uh, uh, printing press machines. So my first area of uh, uh, education in Germany was to go and study printing technology. Okay. So that's what I did. It was then thereafter. But ultimately, it has always been my wish that I want to study political science. Now, w w one thing that uh, I know about you is that many people love you in this nation uh, because they've watched you and your comments uh, over the years. Now, what will you tell the younger generation how do they, and not just in Nigeria, but in all over Africa, what do you want to release on them? What would you like to impact on them? What will, should they learn from what you have learned in 70 years so they don't have to wait 70 years before they know it? They, 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 there's a clause in that. There is also a small difficulty in that. Yeah. But what is key, the most important thing here is you must learn to know yourself. Okay. You must learn how to be yourself. Okay. Nobody, uh, nobody is duplicated in any form or shape. Even, even when you look at the twins, mm. even though they're identical things, but they are still two different uh, uh, people, yeah. individuals. Uh, the, the, the best way to, conf I mean, to prove that is if their fingerprints are, 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 are to be taken, they're still going to be the same. Yeah. When you look at 7 point something billion human beings on earth, we are 7 point something billion individuals so, so you, you need you, to be, you need to learn how to be yourself so be yourself yes. in your situation and, and study know yourself also do not copy anybody because like you are different you are a unique person you have something to offer yes and okay we all have these ideas of what we want all you right understand? let me take a caller because we'll still come to that we want people to learn we don't you don't have to wait 70 years before no, you learn what you okay um we have mark on hello mark hello Hello, Mark, are you still there? While we're waiting for Mark, I have a few um, emails here. This is from Martins. A determined man has a beautiful life, and so shall you. He's talking about Otumba Osseni. Okay. He says, uh, may you sail through all the obstacles and challenges that come in your way to success. Uh, words are not enough to convey how much we all love your contributions on the social media. All the kisses in the world aren't enough to communicate how he we consider he consider himself uh, to so be so fortunate for having known you. Um, I hereby wish you luck, love, and strength to win it all. Wishing you a very happy birthday. That's Remy Martins. If you want to know, Cyril Wusu. Good morning. Happy birthday to our good friend Otumba Osini. I wish him many more years in good health. That's Cyril Wusu from uh, Adioba King. 
It says, Dr. Shedden, I would like to say happy 70th birthday to October. I pray to God Almighty to give him more years in this world. My question to Otumba is that to keep support the APC government. Keep supporting the APC government. Uh, I, will, I will see so many changes. Uh, do not listen to some people. I don't know those who people are. You still have to tell us whether you are a card carry member. You have said you are not, but some people are saying you are supporting them. Uh, this is from Thomas Ita. Uh, this is to wish my childhood friend, Bode Oseni, a very happy birthday coming up, up on the 3rd of March 2017. Also to wish him the best of luck in future and good health. Uh, it come uh, some warming, oh, it says a Tommy Adams eater. Yes. Yeah. I've known him for over about 50, 54 years now. Wow, 54 yeah. years. Yeah, more than that. That's more than the age yeah. of some people. Yeah. Uh, it says, do we have Mark on now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dr. okay. Johnson, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Good morning. I will admire your, your, your comments on, uh, no, on the television troop, you know. On, Thank you very much. Yeah, I had to wish uh, Otumba a happy birthday on his 70th birthday. Thank and, you. Uh, God, God will bless you and Amen. your contribution to the, to the so, social media, uh, media uh, uh, Otumba uh, Johnson, you know. Oh, thank, thank, thank you, you. Uh, Toba, yeah. I admire you, love. I admire you anyway. Uh, well, I've been in London for uh, many years. But I will wish, uh, I, I like your contribution, especially the one you said about uh, uh, Daddy Boma, who was the, the one in custody. Well, uh, 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 Can I know? No. You like that comment? I, I like Otoba comment about it. I thought. And I thought, Josie, that Kano must have been executed by now. Exe what has he done? Yeah, yeah, to call publicly and talk of succession. You know what that means, Dr. Johnson? But it has to go through the court, isn't it? No, 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 no. The court, the, you said the court said that it should, it should not be released. Uh, even uh, the president of the decision can overrule, or the senate of the decision can overrule the court. So what is the meaning of the rule of law? What does that mean? What does it mean? Yeah, the rule of law, the, uh, what, 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 what is said, what it is a uh, death penalty sentence. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, death penalty sentence. We take, we take, I, I thought it must have been executed by we now. Take, we we, we take your... Uh, Congratulatory message yeah. for, for yeah. Tumba, because that one will be a discussion for another day. Mm. Um, I, I have an email here. It's from uh, Shola, uh, Shola Ibiemi, or Ibiemi from uh, Glasgow. It says, I'm wishing Otumba a happy birthday. God will bless your new age. Shola from Glasgow. So you, you have uh, fans all over the world. Um, Edupoku Augustine. Rule of law is fundamental. It can be amended, otherwise it will defeat its objective. Otumba keeps talking about the corrupt judges. Who is not corrupt in Nigeria? When judges rule in favor of APC candidates in election court cases, we do not hear that they are corrupt. Why? They say you are one-sided, Otumba. I, but today is your bad day. I don't want to... No, I, I don't want... Like I said, I don't want to... But is it true want, that you, are, you always support uh, yeah, APC? But, but, but like I said, you see... I, 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 you are pro APC. You I, don't have the card. No, I you, have sympathy. Uh, I have sympathy for a party that was uh, that stand that stood up to wanting to fight corruption. Mm. That stood up to want to make a difference mm. when it all started. And I I cannot support a party so, or a so, leader who says uh, 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 stealing is not corruption. These are okay, these are issues. Okay, right, that wait I don't a minute, want to be dragging. Wait, wait a minute. Otumba, I genuinely want to. Otumba, yeah. stealing is corruption. The Buhari administration is running after the thieves, and uh, how about uh, not paying salaries? Is that corruption? It for me, the biggest corruption, and I'll tell you today. Mm. For me, talking about corruption, we need to know the 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 no 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 no, no. This is a no, simple no, question. No. Not paying salaries of workers is that corruption or of not? Of course, it is. It is corruption. Okay. Not, so obeying the, leaders... not obeying the order, the court ruling by the executive is that corruption or not? I don't want to say uh, this, again, Dr. Johnson. Let me, don't let me overrule you because please it overrule. My, uh, it is my, because the whole world is uh, listening yes, to you. It, it is my genuinely. I want to be more okay. of a seventy year old right. man talking I will, to I will, my I, friends and family okay, because okay, I, we better okay. leave that for another okay, day okay okay you know, okay yeah, please let me let that be my birthday present for yes. you <laughs>
Um, we have uh, another congratulatory message from Julius Osunde. He's from Leeds. Uh, he says, Happy birthday to you, uh, Otumba Bode Oseni. May you live long, sir. I want to thank you for your contribution to the growth and development of Nigeria and Nigerians, both home and abroad. Um, you are always on the side of the common man and good governance. Once again, happy birthday, Julius. We have a caller, Mr. Vincent. Hello, Mr. Vincent. Good morning, Shago. Good morning, Elder Vincent. How are you, sir? Not too bad. Long time. How many years are you older than Otumba? Well, I, I'm still counting. I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. One. All right, sir. Go yeah. ahead. Now, Otumba, my friend, to, to wish you many more years. Thank you, sir. And um, as soon as possible, we shall see and then discuss issues. Thank you, sir. And um, very many more increase on your elbow. Amen. Uh, I wish uh, Nigerians would be thinking the way you, you do, you know, regarding this corruption thing. Uh, we pray for Nigeria to, to succeed in that aspect. Thank you. And uh, sorry, I have to be of the uh, last speaker. Yes. To remind him that all the, the heads of state almost committed coup in Nigeria, and nobody has uh, uh, crucified them or hung them up. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brexit is talking about coming of uh, Europe. And uh, South Sudan has obtained separation. Mm. Eritrea has got, done the same from Ethiopia. I mm. wish I could meet the man who spoke to you last time to tell us why Carlos' uh, uh, remonstration would be a different thing. He's just speaking his mind. Mm. Okay? All right. So Thank people you. should be careful about Nigerian issues. All right. Thank you very uh, much. We have a constitutional right to air our views. That's, that's correct. And considering uh, uh, Kano, Kano is a very young man. He doesn't know history about the, the uh, uh, past events in Nigeria. Mm. So let me stop you until he comes back uh, for his next session. All right. Thank you very much. I have an email from Cyril Wosu, and he's saying, uh, Happy birthday to Otumba again. Uh, the only reason why I occasionally disagree with the uh, point of view is the inconsistency and uh, often biased opinion. Nonetheless, it's all right to be different. Just remember to send my rice and stew to me. Congratulations. It's so we'll see, address, so. um, uh, <laughs> uh, Otuba said, put your address and we'll see if we can email it or just send you a voucher just to eat. Mm -hmm. um, Otuba, now that you are 70, there are some things you will have loved to do differently. What are they? Well, we are all born to to grow, mm -hmm. and when you are growing, you are born to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And it's just like uh, when you make these mistakes, there are lessons you learn, and also lessons to be learned. Mm -hmm. And in the process, you now grow up to find out that uh, certain things you've done wrongly, and that you should probably have done it rightly. But because of you gather experience, you, you, get, you gather maturity. Mm -hmm. Around the time when you choose to uh, do certain things wrongly, when you now grow older, mm -hmm. you want to do them differently. Okay. It depends on what comes, it depends on what I have to deal with. What area will you suggest that people, sh I mean, younger generation should be careful? What area that you might have, uh, have challenges? Well, again, like I said uh, earlier on, uh, an average youth must strive to get a strong education, which is the most powerful tool. Because those are the things that nobody can take away from mm -hmm. you. Once you have it, it's yours forever. And also, must uh, uh, pursue part of honor. Mm -hmm. you, mu you must be honest. You must be dedicated to uh, uh, courses you believe in. Mm -hmm. you, you, you must be able to understand mm -hmm. that uh, uh, the, uh, the space it's not only for you. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue in a second. Yeah. We have a caller for you. Okay. Uh, Cecilia, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Shego. Yes, I'm ma happy. You know, I got, uh, I got you today. When you were celebrating your 60th birthday, I thought I could see the end of it. Oh. Greet you. Now I'm happy. I will greet you for this epic. Thank you very I'm much. Thank you, Dr. Shego, for your 60th birthday. Oh. And now I'm greeting you, Otuba. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now that I'm true, uh, please kindly ask me, let me greet uh, Otuba. 
Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very thank, much. Thank you. thank you very much, yeah. Sister Cecilia. I wish you a very, very good, happy mm. birthday. Thank you very much to you. Thank you very much. We're yeah, very grateful for okay. calling. Thank um, you. Um, we, as we approach the end of this one hour, what would other advice would you want to give the Nigerian political system, having watched it in the last 70 years? What advice would you want to give Nigeria? Well, there's one thing as a student of political science, also as somebody who had lived mm. in a structured society. Yeah. What keeps them going is the structure of the of, of the of the polity of the of the of the go of governance, the govern whatever system, whatever mm. type they have. Now I think it is high time that Nigerian government and Nigerian uh, uh, politician should put more a uh, high premium on structures, okay, structures. institutions, mm -hmm. because with institutions we can make and break, we can do so many things. Let me quickly go back to the issue of uh, a, a structure of the, of, of the judiciary. Mm -hmm. It is sad to find out that we have a, mass, a large number of people that are corrupt, that are sitting on cases that, they, you know, I have it. I have okay. a couple of judges okay. Okay. as my friends. I'm sorry to be cutting yeah. you. Yeah. Um, we have a, 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 an email from EGK Olisa. He says, a Happy birthday to Otumba. I wish that uh, you will be balancing your ideas. He says, uh, I will was, uh, he says, I will, was, I will not charge for treason and was he not released? Uh, so he, that was from uh, EGK Olisa from ICAM. Uh, I fully. He says, I'm surprised you can't speak uh, common truth regarding Kano's case. So this is the reason Biafra is uh, agitating for liberation. Um, for Patrick Olu, happy birthday to Baba Otumba Osini. May God bless your new age with abundance of uh, joy, peace of mind and body. Long live Baba. Long live Nigeria. Tell us, Baba, 70, you look 50. What is the magic? We love you. Um, Patrick, um, Patrick Ofolu. Happy birthday, sir. Otumba Bodiusini. Without a doubt, a good man, a great man, and a blessing to this generation of Africans due to your uh, passion for Africa. I wish you all the best things in life. Uh, uh, let me take um, the last email. Oh, we have so many. You are popular. So many emails. But we have a caller, Dan. Hello, Dan. Uh, good morning, Dr. Johnson. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I want to say happy belated uh, birthday to you. Uh, you just was two weeks ago. Oh yes, thank you. Ago. And I, I would say it's rather maybe fortunate or not fortunate that both of you were born in the same, maybe the same star. <laughs> <laughs> That's why both of you are together. And happy birthday to Otumba Useni as well. Thank you. Um, and I think both of you, by your age, you have seen all. In Nigeria, you see, you, you were born before Nigeria became independent. And I, just a simple question for both of you: Is Nigeria retrogressing? Because um, a lot of us have seen, and Otumba mentioned so much about the closeness to the to the father, that is uh, Chief Are uh, we, we supposed to be together? Because uh, let's assume that uh, 
Well, it's just that time is not on our side. I wish you called earlier. Thank you very much. Otumba, I'm going to ask you, before we close this segment, I'm going to ask you this question. And I want you to look straight into the camera and answer it. It's going to be a tough question. I, I hope I will not have a need to overrule it. Okay. <laughs> you may wish to overrule it, but I'm going to ask you. Yeah, please go on. Do you hate the Igbos? Of course not. And I want to say this openly to all people viewing and looking at this and listening to this program. It's a special time of my life. The best friend I have when I was studying in Germany, one of the lecturer is called uh, Emelike. Emelike died many years ago. He was a governor aspirant for, um, was the governor of Aminu Kano. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we live together, we eat together. He was my best friend. And on top of that, most of my other Igbos, Dr. Douglas, Deputy Governor of uh, Imbo State then, you know, they, these are my friends. We grew up together in Germany. And I was very active in the student, uh, student union. I was president of the student union. And I know exactly how many Igbos I accommodated as friends. Now, finally, and I want to say this, my part of my extraction is now in Igbo land, strongly established. Because my wife, my, you know, my best friend, soulmate and everything is an Igbo. It's an evil lady. October, so, based on that, no there's the no way. There's no way. There's no way I cannot. And that is, I, I think you've made the point. I, I just let, I needed to say that to ask that question because many Igbos, uh, many Igbo viewers think because of your stance on Kanu, you don't like the Igbos. But I tell you, this man, he has a, a place. I have more in, connection to Igbos than. <laughs> and no. So, 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 so that that question has been answered and put. But I'm going to end this segment by saying that. Uh, I just mentioned your name. I may not be able to read everything. From Polo, he says, Happy birthday, sir. Wishing you happy birthday. That's Babatun Day at Demoe. Um, from Kazim, Olan Rewaju, he says, I'd like to wish Otumba Oseni a happy birthday. I will not be able to read everything. Dr. Kola Akindele, a very happy birthday to you, sir. Enjoy your special day and many happy returns. Three scores and ten. When I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> from Oulabi Adesoya. Good morning to everyone. My name is Langri Awulawa from London. I would like to wish Otumba Oseni happy 70th birthday, long life and prosperity. I'm afraid that's how we can go to congratulate uh, Otumba Bodhi Oseni. But if you have his telephone number, you could email him, call him, write him, any way you want to congratulate him. Uh, when we return, we will be looking at xenophobia in South Africa. We have brought in someone who just returned from South Africa, someone who has uh, interviewed people around South Africa. And so we are in to look into the details of xenophobia you don't want to miss this one because you are in united kingdom you are in the west in europe you don't really know what is going on in south africa but we you decide ben television we brought in one of us uh, who have been there who has conducted uh, research who has conducted interviews who had made up a film on this matter you have never had anything October Abadeusini, thank you for giving us a blessed one thank hour you of your life. God bless you, sir. Yes, don't go away. We'll be right back.